All right, I'm about to take a bite into this Chicago dog, but before I do that, I'm here in Chicago testing out the Verizon 5G network with the LG V50 right here. I'm gonna walk around, do some uh, testing, check out the device, as well as experience what Verizon has to offer with 5G. But before that, look, I'm hungry. I'm just gonna bite in, okay? So, 5G and the V50. That was my experience, and first of all, before I continue, I want to just let you know and thank LG for flying me out there to check out um, Verizon 5G network. Now, uh, when they reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to go to Chicago, see what 5G is like with the V50? I was like, yeah, sure, sure. And this was a good uh, test for me to see how the V50 handles as well. Now, um, Chicago is a lovely city. I've got to tell you, it's a beautiful place. I wish I stayed longer. I'm sorry I didn't get to see Tim Schofield. I spent literally a day testing, running around the city, looking at different places. I love the trains everywhere. It's, it's a beautiful place. But, you know, I was there to check out 5G, and you've got all these 5G nodes around the city, and the nodes themselves are, they're not that big. They hang on, like, lampposts and, you know, uh, things around the city where you've seen other modules before in the past for like 4G and 4G LTE. So it's easily upgradable. That's the best thing about the uh, millimeter wave um, uh, additions that they have here. And it's really, really nice in terms of just the functionality. You can get 5G everywhere. But I wanted to see how that experience was with the V50. The V50 comes with a Snapdragon 855. It's 5G capable, which means there is no variant. It's not like any other manufacturers. There's no V50 5G. There's just a V50. I like that. I don't have to decide if I want to just wait or not wait. Look, I can get the V50. It has all that. It's got a triple camera setup. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, you've got a 4,000 milliamp battery, which is key because you know 5G, of course, is going to take more uh, battery energy from you. But what was my experiences? And I'm going to show you some of the experiences I had. The first one was walking up to a no uh, module, doing a test, and then walking down and seeing how well when I walk away from it. Because millimeter wave is going to be cross-sectional within streets and things like that. So let's take a look. All right, so we are down in Chicago looking for uh, 5G modules, and boom, there's one right here. So you guys can see that. I'm gonna zoom in a little closer. And yeah, so that's the 5G antenna. Now, the misconception is that, you know what? You have to stay in one place. But before we do that, let's run a test here and then keep walking and see how that goes. So I'm gonna pull out my V50 right here, okay? You guys can see that, boom. Go to speed test. Now, excuse me as I flip the camera around, but you know, it's okay. And boom, here we go. Let's run a speed test on that. All right, it keeps going up, keeps going up, keeps going up. It's not bad, 820. So we're close to the, the tower right here. Upload speeds are gonna be closer to about 50, I'm hoping. Uh, it's about 20 something right now. Cool, all right, so let's walk down. Let's do this. It's gonna be a little shaky, but we're gonna walk away from that. And we're gonna just keep walking down and we'll see how, how this actually works. So we can do a walking speed test. We're gonna hit this again. Focus, boom. Now we're walking away from the tower. So this is us walking away from the tower. And look at the speeds, it's still going. All right, that's 771. That's not bad, it's pretty good. And 19. Well, the fun thing is our tower is now all the way back there. Okay, so that experience showed something quite clear. Speeds are fast, first of all. I mean, I was doing between 700 to about 1.2 gigabits, and I apologize the 1.2 gigabits, I didn't record it because I kind of just tapped and I was like, oh snap, and then I just never got that again. Uh, but I was able to get those speeds, I was able to walk away, and that was the key thing. So I could walk around, and the idea with millimeter wave setup is that you just walk around the city using your device, you should be able to jump in and out and use whatever you want to use fast. 
and that was pretty cool. So the next area I went to in the city, again, like I said, Chicago is a beautiful city. Um, I saw this cafe and I was like, oh, let me do some, uh, some gaming, some game streaming, I mean, off the device. I was gonna use Shadow and look, this really does kind of messed up my video here a little bit because it took me an hour plus just to try and set it up and I was not able to set it up on my mobile device. So that just didn't do me any good. But you can imagine you tethering to your laptop to do that. But I went to this cafe and I said, look, let me, let me, let me do some tests here, but also let me see how well this will work if I am not in direct line of sight you know if something is blocking it because we've all had millimeter wave does not go through objects it bounces off so let's take a look at what kind of speeds and how that actually works so one of the biggest conceptions about millimeter wave 5g is that it's got to be line of sight so that's our uh tower right there and we've got some leaves and we're going to be behind this so theoretically we shouldn't get a good signal an average getting about 700 here. I'm going to hit go and let's see what we're getting. So it's about seven something. So even though this is basically being blocked by the flower bed here, I'm getting about 825, um, you know, for download speeds. Uploads are still based on 4G LTE, so what you would expect but the reason why you still get those speeds is not because it's blocked it's because it bounces off so it's bouncing off that wall right here to the phone so it doesn't have to be directly in line of sight you can actually have you know different ways of getting these kind of speeds <laughs> Again, really good speeds. Yeah, so it's all because of something called uh, beam forming, which allows the beams to redirect and direct back from the antenna to your device. So you don't have to be in line of sight because there's so many things that are gonna be blocking it. And it's funny because the rep was like, hey, yeah, this area, there's a tree that's really covering the antenna. And I got one of my highest, that's where I took the highest speed and one of my highest speeds in that area. So beam forming really worked well. And I liked that I, you know, there were the impediments to what we thought would be millimeter wave actually has been circumvented because of some of these technologies. Now you're saying, okay, Thunder, that's, that's great, right? I get it. But what about some practical use for me? I give you one that we all know. You're going to catch a flight, uh, you're running late, uh, you skip through the line, everything, and you're like, oh man, I have nothing to watch. I'm doing 10 hours and there's no Wi-Fi because I'm taking, taking a flight to Hawaii. I've done that, I know, and I did it with uh, the locker. Uh, but you're like, okay, I want to download something. You go over to Netflix, you hit download, and it's like, oh, it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, and then you're like, okay, buckle your seatbelt, and you don't have a movie. Well with 5g and imagine that of course at the airport um, or even you catching a train maybe you're taking the subway um, i was able to do this in 30 seconds again the ability to walk down and hit download and get that experience you just have to take a look now this is a whole movie he has a two hour movie i am mother about to catch a flight soon so should take me about 20 seconds right Let's see, ah, okay, it's moving. There we go. So imagine you walk into the gates, about to check in, get into that flight, it's moving. All right, there you go, about 25 seconds, give or take. Pretty nice. Yeah, it's great. It's great to have that kind of experience for 5G. Being able to download your shows, or movies, a whole catalog, and get it down in there uh, within seconds is what matters. Not a five to 10 minute download. I don't have that. I was 30 seconds for that. That was it, done. 
that's what I like and that's what uh, gave me a lot of hope here. Now, with testing the uh, the 5G network in Chicago and Verizon with the V50, um, my battery life was pretty good. I was running tests throughout the whole day. And I would say like I basically burned through hard and it lasted about five to five to six hours. Now, on the regular use, I was able to get this device to last me pretty much the whole day. Now, one of the things that Verizon and also with uh, what LG also stated is that Look, the way 5G works on the network is that when you're using data, that's when actually it switches over to the 5G chipset. Um, so it's not basically burning and just using all your battery life because it's on 5G. It's only when it actually needs to, and that's how it works to keep things really efficient with this device. Now, you saw speeds where the downloads were really high, the uploads were about maybe 70 or 80 at max. Um, now, Verizon has said that, look, that's on 4G, uploads will switch to uh, 5G, and they actually just did that recently uh, in Providence. So if you're in Providence, Rhode Island, Go check out those speeds. Let me know what you think and what you're getting with uploads and downloads if you have a 5G device. Because you can pick up a uh, V50 right now to do that. And I want to put this call out to all everyone who's in a 5G area right now. Go check it out. If you have a 5G device, check it out. Or go to a Verizon store, uh, pick up the V50 in the store, check out the speeds that you can get there. Because at least, uh, just to give you an idea of what it is, because I lived through the, the 4G transition and it was bad. This has really impressed me that within a month, I've seen speeds increase from what people initially announced to what I was getting. I was getting 700 to about one gigabit per second. That's really good. I, I like that, like that, that in terms of download speed. So once those upload speeds kick in, kick in as well, I think it will be a great experience altogether. Now the V50 itself is a really good device. Uh, it's got a large display. It's got a notch. You know, hopefully LG moves away from that. That's just something I don't like. Uh, but this device is very well capable. You've got a triple camera setup that gives you some really good photos. Selfies actually turned out pretty well. Took some really nice photos uh, there. The selfies, also uh, the uh, the rear camera, the wide camera is nice. Uh, the uh, the telephoto is is, is good. Uh, the main camera sensor also does a good job. Uh, low light setting photos are also good. So you get a uh, I would say a balanced approach with this device. Now, A55 processor, your gaming is gonna be top notch. And this thing runs pretty cool. 30, about 36 degrees Celsius. So playing games like PUBG uh, and watching me just do a terrible job, it, it does a fantastic, the gaming on here is really, really nice. Speakers are also decently loud at 101, so 101.6 decibels with of course the, the song that we used to test, so you have that there. The display looks really good and sharp and vibrant as well. So you've got a nice display. Plus, it's got a headphone jack with the best DAC possible. Can drive things like my, my Bear Dynamic DT 1990 Pro. Those require quite a bit to drive them well, and it does a good job. I love the fact that you can do that on the V50, no other smartphone can. Uh, there's a lot to this smartphone. You know, you combine the fact that it's got everything you want in a smartphone, generally. Uh, there's some things yet that definitely could be improved, that notch needs to go away. But you also got 5G, and you don't have to pick and decide what variant you're looking for. Plus, you can go up to um, two terabytes of storage, micro SD card as well. Uh, but that was my experience, guys. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, and hopefully, uh, you're in a, if you're in the 5G area, let me know what you're getting for speeds uh, and if you have a 5G device. I want to know. I want to see what that experience is because I want to track that as well as we move forward because if you're picking up something like the V50, you want to know that next year, the year after, you're already in 5G. Like, you're already in 5G, but you can handle 4G. And when 5G is full, fully takes over, as they say, in 2023 in terms of devices, then you're good, even if you decide to keep your V50 that long, because not everybody's going to upgrade every year. But thank you very much, guys. Don't forget to like, share, smash the subscribe button. Hit, um, also, hit the notification icon and uh, like and share this video. Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your statements.